Hey YouTube subscribers, this is Buster here. Trying to show you how we tied down a mini excavator. The issue is all about the weight. Right here, I'm trying to adjust where the bucket is, where the weight is in the machine in accordance with the truck. And when I tie it down, now I got a align where I'm tying it down with where my tie downs are on the trailer. And that's kind of the tricky part. It takes a little backwards and forwards motion, a little adjusting to get it right. The whole obstacle here though, is that I only had three chains on the strip. And I have to have five points of contact in order to be legal. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one chain and making two chains out of one chain. And I'm doing that on each side of the excavator. So really, one chain is becoming two with four points of contact onto the trailer with another on the implement, which would be the bucket on the front. And I'm gonna show you how I tie this down right here. We use a combination of ratchet straps and regular tie downs. We always use a couple different kinds just in case. You can see a car going by. Now here we are tying down the front end of the machine. And it doesn't take a lot of restraint to do this, but you gotta do this in order to be legal. When you run down the highway, everybody wants to know that whatever you're attached to is tied down to your trailer. And now we're gonna take the binder and make sure we wrap the rest of the extra chain around it so that it can't come undone in transport while we're bouncing down the road. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe as we bring you updates on our latest projects from Atlantis Paving and Grading.